And now, ladies and gentlemen, Rand the Man and Donna Natrix as Caesar and Ethel Jacks in The Honeymoon is Over. Caesar Jacks has finally succumbed to his wife's demands for a larger apartment and has promised to raise enough money to put down on a house. To this end, he has taken on another job and one o'clock in the morning sees the weary Caesar Jacks returning home from his new position. Let's listen. <sighs> oh, my bed. Oh, Caesar, is that you? Yeah, it's me. How's the new job, dear? I hate it. You hate it? Yes, I hate it, and I'm glad I hate it. Because if I didn't hate it, I'd like it, and I hate it. There's a kettle on the stove. I didn't know what time you were coming home, Caesar. Are you going off to bed? I'm going to make some hot tea and bathe my feet first. Can't you bathe your feet in plain water? I'm going to bathe them in hot water. I want some hot tea to drink. You go to sleep. I don't see any reason for you to be so disagreeable, Caesar Jax. I haven't done anything to you. No, you haven't done anything. All day and all night, you beef about getting a bigger place to live in. Isn't it bad enough I work like a slave in one job? You force me to take another one. I'm so tired, I can't see. I don't see why we should have to live in this rat's nest when all of our friends have such lovely homes. You can't blame me for wanting to better myself. Well, stop wanting to better me. It's a wife's duty to see that her husband gets ahead in the world. You can't say that I've not been trying, Caesar. No, Ethel, I can't say you're not trying. You're the most trying woman I ever met in my life. That's the thanks I get. Don't walk out on me when I'm talking to you, Caesar. Hello? Oh, hello there, Mrs. Jacks. And this is Dr. Hershey. Oh, hello, Doctor. Oh, I got a message from my secretary that whenever I came in, I was supposed to call you. Is there something wrong, Mrs. Jacks? Well, I was worried about these eye drops you gave me for my eyes. There aren't any instructions on the label. Drops for your eyes? Yes. Do I put them in before or after my meals? Oh, oh, oh Mrs. Jacks. You can put them in before, after, or during your meal. Now, is that all, Mrs. Jacks? No, I'd wish you to talk to Caesar. I don't know what's come over the man. He tears around here in a fury, and he keeps picking on me. Well, have him drop by my office in the morning. He can't come by your office. He's just took on another job. He just doesn't have the time. You mean, and he has two jobs? Yes, but he doesn't seem to like his new job very much. He's working for Streetcar Company. It really is a wonderful I position. I imagine it is, uh, Mrs. Jacks. It sounds like a I wonderful job. I can't understand why he hates it so much. They pay him very well. Why and... don't you stop yakking about my business, Excuse Ethel. me, Doctor. Keep quiet, Caesar. It's Dr. Hershey, and I don't want him to hear you Well, yet. get off the phone and stop blabbing about my private affairs. Oh, Dr. Hershey, Caesar's here now. He wants to talk to you. I don't want to talk Caesar. to him. Caesar, you'd better pick up this phone. All right, all right, all right. Hello. Oh, yes, Jax? Yeah, what? I understand you're not feeling too well. You're not in bad shape physically, but your mental attitude could be improved. It could, huh? I think so. Jax, I'm afraid you're working too hard. If I were you, I'd go out and have a good time with my wife. Where does your wife live? What was that? I said I'll think about it, doctor. Good night. What's the idea, Ethel? Why you gotta tell everybody what goes on in my life? What's wrong with telling people you have another job? Just don't do it, that's all. I'm not too proud of slaving seven years as a dog food salesman without you telling everybody I work for the streetcar company. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Well, don't do it. Oh, stop yelling. Just take off your conductor's uniform and go to bed. I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. What's wrong with being a streetcar conductor? Nothing's wrong with it. I just don't like your friends getting out at every corner and staring at me. How come all your friends suddenly decided to ride on a streetcar, and why do they have to wait for mine? Are you crazy, Caesar? I told them to ride with you. What for? Don't you want to do good business? Why would they ride with a streetcar conductor that they don't even know? Now fold your pants neatly so you look nice tomorrow night. Where are the nickels, Caesar? Nickels? I got 15 cents in my pocket. 15 cents? I sent over 40 customers myself. You don't think I keep the money, do you? I had to turn it into the company. All of it? Yes, all of it. What are you hitting at, Ethel? Ha, I didn't say anything, did I? No, but I know what you're thinking, and you better get those ideas out of your head. What ideas? Never mind what ideas. I'm beginning to understand how that no-good brother of yours can drive around in a big Cadillac on a bank teller's salary. My brother never stole from the bank, and you know it. All right, I'll apologize to him when he gets out of jail. Caesar Jax! Forget it. I want to get some sleep. Don't like those pants, that's all. Well, don't leave your pants on the chair. Hang them up. Okay, I'll hang them up. What are you staring at, Ethel? Where did all those nickels come from? Oh, if you must know, I hit the jackpot on a slot machine. Are you satisfied? Yes, dear. What do you mean, yes, dear? What kind of talk is that? I said yes, dear. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. I want it in a slot machine. Don't you believe me? Of course I believe you. That's the last straw if you're going to abuse me. Caesar Jacks! 
Right, you push up and go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep, she tells me. I stumble around from one job to another and work like a horse, and she thinks I'm snagging nickels. Oh, honey. My whole body aches. I'll never sleep another wink as long as I... <sighs> I think he brought the whole trolley home with him. Stop at this corner! Uh, uh, move the rear of the car, please. Caesar! Caesar! Eth Ethel! Ethel, what's the matter? Ethel, I wanna sleep! But don't make so much noise, I'd like to sleep too! Uh, you didn't put out the kitchen light! I did. I think I see a light under the kitchen door. No light. Did you take care of the cat? No. Why not? Cat can take care of himself. What about the goldfish and the canary? Cat'll take care of them too. Don't be funny! Were the animals hungry? They're starving. What are they eating? Each other. See Oh, we got plenty to eat. Why don't you let me sleep, Ethel? All you have to do is give me a simple answer. Just tell me, what have you got the goldfish to eat? Eggs. Eggs? Eggs. Fifteen poached eggs, and the cat had the same. Where did all the eggs come from? The canary laid them. Male canaries don't lay eggs, and he is a male. How do you know? His name's Dickie, isn't it? What do you want from me? Are you deliberately trying to keep me awake? I don't see how you can go to sleep without kissing me goodnight, Caesar Jacks. I can do it. Oh, you'll pay dearly for that one. You better say sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You are not! I am too. I'm the sorriest man that was ever born. I don't know what's happened to you, Caesar. Nothing. You were like your old self when we went to Sherry and Mike's wedding. Was not. You danced with me and everything. It was a wonderful wedding, wasn't it, Caesar? Wonderful. What a sweet girl he married, too. Mm. She was from Pennsylvania and somebody once told me that she won a beauty contest. Do you believe that, Caesar? Believe what? I don't believe she won a beauty contest. She's too big in the first place. And in the second place, too. I can't believe what a nice boy like Mike would ever see in her. Did you notice how she dominated Mike? Mm hmm Caesar, do you like overpowering women? I don't know. I never overpowered any. Put out the lights, would you, Ethel? I don't see why you gave them such an expensive wedding present. Did she like it, Caesar? Who? Mike's bride, Sherry. Did she like the bathing suit you gave her? She loved it. Should have seen her beam when she got into it. Ah, Caesar Jacks! Good night, Ethel. Good night, Caesar. <laughs> Come tune in to Ran the Man on Spreaker.com next Friday for the next episode of Mr. and Mrs. Jacks, or you can find us on YouTube.